everyone, it's Bree here. Just wanted to make a little tutorial for you on how to do a graph in Excel. Some of you were asking how you would do your graph um, on your lab activity. So if you open up uh, Microsoft Excel, you get to a blank spreadsheet like this. And then uh, an easy way to do it is just to enter the means for your winners and losers for your thumb wrestling contest. So um, let's write winners here and write losers here. And let's say that your winners had a mean of 6.2 centimeters and your losers had a mean of 6.7 centimeters. So now what you can do is go up to where it says insert and this is using um, Microsoft uh, version 10 or Excel version 10 I believe. Uh, if you go to insert and put just click this little graph icon and uh, then we're going to be doing column graphs. So you want to choose probably between this one or this one, or you could choose these ones if you wanted. Um, I'm going to go with the 3D just because it's kind of cool. And now what I'm going to do is up here it says select data. And if you're using a different version of Excel, yeah, the buttons might be located in different places. Um, but mine's up here. I'm going to hit that. And just go down here to where it says add. And I'm going to give this the name uh, winners. And then go down to where it says series values. Click the little icon here. And now just click on the mean here. So remember, this is the mean of your winners, not an individual data point. This is the mean. Click that little icon again. And then hit OK. All right, so that's the winners. Now we need to um, to add the losers. So I'm gonna hit losers and click that again. Click on the mean. Click the icon again, and OK. Um, so now you can edit um, to give these different names. So for this uh, axis label range for the x-axis, I'm going to call this outcome of competition. Okay. And um, I'm going to try to see if I can. Okay. And now notice while my x-axis is labeled, my y-axis is not. And there are fancy ways to make it do the labeling like we just did, but I actually usually like to kind of cheat on this by inserting a text box. So if I go up to here, insert text box, and put it right here, and now I can label this mean thumb length. Um, did I spell that right? Mean thumb length. And don't forget to always put your units that you're dealing with. Okay, so I'm going to put centimeters. Now, if I click that again, um, I can make it long and squish it up. So I'm just holding down the left mouse key. And then I can turn it sideways by taking that little green thing and holding down the left mouse key. And then move it off into place. And I might want to make the font a little bit uh, smaller so it's not all scrunched up. And I can always make the graph bigger by clicking over here. I can move that out of the way a little bit. You get the idea. You can play around with it. I'm going to, you can take the whole graph here and there you get it over right at the right spot. There you go. That's a little better. Okay. And all good graphs should have a title. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and um, just insert another text box again. You know, again there's a, other ways to do this, but that's to me the easiest way. And you can actually scrunch down the graph itself to give yourself more room. Move it over a little bit. Oops. Mm -hmm. Move that over a little too much. There we go. And I'm kind of doing just a fast little thing here. I'd probably I'm also holding the baby in my arms as I do this, so it's a little tricky. Um, I'm going to go ahead and insert another text box for the title. And you always want to give a title that is descriptive of what's in the graph, so that someone just looking at 
your graph and reading the title would kind of know what your graph is about. So I'm going to put in here the effects of thumb length. Actually, this would be the effect of thumb length of thumb length on the outcome of thumb wrestling competitions. Okay, and then of course you want to slide it into place and that's very long so I'm going to split it into two lines and I'm going to center it, I'm going to bold it, make it a little bit larger and uh, you know I can bold all these things if I wanted. You get the general idea. So anyway, that's how you make a graph in Excel. And if I wanted to um, paste this into another program, I could um, come up here to Find and Select. And I could uh, select objects and just kind of drag over the whole thing here. And then copy it and paste it into like PowerPoint or Word or something like that. But um, anyway, uh, that's the basics, and I hope, uh, I hope this is helpful. If not, let me know, and I will be happy to, to do some more tutorials. Take care. Bye-bye.